What's up, YouTube? Um, so, it's been a long time since I made a video, but I found this application today on the App Store. And over Wi Fi, it only works over Wi Fi, it allows you to watch live TV, um, any of the channels that you get. You can access your recordings, you can schedule, you know, a recording for, you know, whatever channel you'd like away from your computer. You don't have to be connected to that particular Wi-Fi network um, that your computer uses. I'm going to go ahead and show the app to you now. Okay, so here's my iPhone. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm using my eyesight to do this, but um, here's my home screen. I'll turn it this way so you can see it, but this is the application here. You open it. Um, That's what you get. And sorry, it's out of focus. It should autofocus, but I'm not sure if it does that by itself in iMovie. Um, so it says Alex Darby's MacBook Pro. I'll do that. And it'll say connecting. And then you can set it up to do a four digit password, which is not really important. But you enter your passcode. And then you have your four options live TV, recordings, schedules, and God. Now, if you want to do live TV, obviously you'll do live TV, and it'll load in the channels. So you can scroll through, you know, all of them, you know, whatever you have. Um, we'll go to, USA, which is NCIS playing right now, um, and I'll just give you a little thing, and it'll load up. And this only works over Wi-Fi. I've tried it. It won't work over 3G. Uh, let's turn down some. And it looks similar to YouTube. The way it loads and stuff like that. And I guess it works that it's on a commercial. But, um, yeah, that's it. So that's essentially live TV um, on your iPhone or iPod Touch. We'll quit that and go back to the stations. Now, I don't have any recordings lined up, but you can, uh, it says library, exporting, recording now, and then past week. So that those are the same sort of options that you have if you have an ITV and you use it on your Mac. Um, schedules, I don't have anything scheduled that says no schedules. And then God, and I haven't been to this before. So again, it looks just like You've got all your stations. Let's let it load up. Um, and again, we'll choose. Oh well, we'll choose MTV, and then it'll open up, and you've got all your times. You know, so I really wish that was clear. Um, but you can sort of make it out six, six thirty-seven, and then you can just choose a time. So eight thirty says the hills and it gives you a little um, preview of what's going to be on it and then you can just tap record and then it's set so and if you change your mind you can just go back into it and do don't record and it'll say really delete the schedule don't delete or delete and then yes delete so and then it goes back to record so you can do all that you can go I think this is all for the date but you can go you know, this is for September 30th, October 1st, and so on. Um, and then you just tap the little calendar icon, and it goes back to the day that you're at. So that's been, I guess, a preview of ITV for the iPhone and iPod Touch. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section below.